we will see the topic uh, diluting and mixing of the solution so when the uh, two concentration uh, mix in a solution so what happens how will uh, follow uh, how will uh, follow the results how will get the results here main principle uh, while mixing the uh, dilution is solution is uh, absolute quantity of solute that is mass moles and equivalent these are the absolute quantities so this will remain unchanged during the dilution or mixing of solutions so how how it will be uh, remain same so here i am giving one example so let us take one uh, beaker or container in which uh, water is there so water i have given 100 ml of water so in this 100 ml of water just you drop one uh, tablespoon of sugar in this well and you dissolve it so after dissolving what will it will have some test so let's take that uh, test is some x degree uh, the test is present in this solutions now what you do uh, take another uh, 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 beaker in which there is a, a 200 ml of pure water is there okay it is uh, there is no nothing pure water is there now you drop this whole 100 ml of water which is uh, x degree of sugar is there and just mix it and you dissolve it so what will happen will the test of this second container will remain same or what it will be the test will increase or decrease definitely if the volume will water will be more the test of this container after mixing this sugar from this to this water will decrease the test will dilute but you see here uh, the amount of sugar was 1 tablespoon and here the amount of sugar was same so here what i am saying mass and moles it will be remain same so regarding equivalent uh, you have to go through the equivalent weight topics so what were the whatever the mass moles or equivalent it will remain same if you increase the volume what will happen so per unit volume per unit volume is test will becomes dilute so if you increase the amount of volume test will become dilute 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 uh, in this way uh, the concentration will also per unit will per unit uh, per unit will be decrease so this is the main uh, principle of dilutions now uh, molarity of solutions after dilution so what will happen how to find the molarity of solution after the dilution so uh, moles of solute before dilution and moles of solute after dilution so this is the concept uh, principle uh, behind this concept is it will remain same so we can use this one m1v1 is equal to m2 into v2 so m1v1 is a before dilution m2 and v2 will be the after dilution so v2 is nothing but the v1 plus v so v is the or you can write here uh, m2 into here uh, v1 plus v so v is the amount of wa- amount of water added so amount of water added so here we, after finding this one we can solve this uh, problems now second is a uh, molarity uh, of uh, solution after mixing so here condition is they should not react with each other so this is the condition they should not react with each other so let us take one container beaker so this is one beaker m1 v1 uh, and you take another beaker m2 v2 so here you can take anything uh, strong acid you can take here a strong base these are two strong acid or two uh, is a strong uh, uh, strong acid or strong base anything or you can take also one strong acid one strong base but uh, in true strong acid or true strong base or two weak acid or two weak base some result will be different but here uh, for molarity we will use only strong as strong base for the weak acid weak bases some different uh, concept uh, some different formula is used because acid and weak acid and weak base do not react uh, properly not the completely but strong acid strong base they react completely so this uh, formula is actually valid for strong acid and strong base so keep this in mind this formula is valid for strong acid and strong base to take weak acid weak base they do not react completely now see after mixing what happen if suppose this is too strong acid so they will mix it they do not react with each other so we will get this uh, molarity of this uh, solutions and v1 plus v2 so again what happens write this question the two uh, moles of acid we have added so here moles of this one uh, container a the moles of this container b and this is the after the mixing so here uh, concentration of solution will be uh, m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and v1 plus v2 so here i have quote one example well, suppose a contains 50 ml uh, and concentration of this uh, uh, solution is 2.5 molarity so what will happen and here b contain 50 ml concentration of solution here uh, 3.5 molarity so uh, m3 will be how much at uh, 2.5 into 50 m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so here 50 plus 50 100 so here we will get 3 molarity so it will increase so in this case the concentration will increase okay so here concentration will be how much 3 molarity oh uh, so yes uh, something is there ha ah, yes so this is 3 molarity now if uh, two solutions are mixed and they react chemically 
with each other so in that case what happens so here we can write here uh, m1 v1 by m1 is equal to m2 v2 by n2 and again m1 v1 and n1 uh, is uh, nothing but the molarity in volume and stoichiometric coefficient in balanced equation of reactant and m2 v2 n2 it is same as before for the reactant too so here uh, we can use this formula so alternately we, we can see one example so here we take example for this understand this one uh, two uh, so bromide ions plus cl2 in aqueous solution they will react each other so they will give you two uh, so this is your two uh, two moles of cl minus and br2 it is used for commercial uh, preparation of bromine from its salt suppose we have 50 ml of 0 0.06 molarity and br so what volume of 0 0.05 molarity solution of cl2 is uh, need to react completely with br minus bromide minus so write the first equation here it's a 2 br minus cl2 minus and 2 cl minus and br2 so this is the uh, balanced equation because this equation is balanced so here n1 is how much 2 mole here n2 is how much 1 mole so we can use this formula so this is balanced equation so m1 v1 by n1 and this will be your m2 v2 by n2 so here we can see here you can use this formula put the value of m1 0 0.06 volume 52 and here 0 0.05 m2 and volume v2 n1 so in this way we will get here volume v2 equal to 30 mm so this is a two molecule in which they react chemically with each other then we can use this equations if we have given acid hcl and noh acid is given 0.2 molarity uh, 40 ml and 0.4 molarity 60 ml so this acid as we know the reaction will take place it will form hcl uh, sodium hydroxide they will form salt plus water so initial moles will be how much so initial moles will be 0 0.02 into 40 so this is 8 moles millimoles and it will be 2.4 millimoles so here it is will be 0 0 but after the reaction this will be your 5.6 mole SLF so what is the concentration of solution after the reaction? concentration of solution become acidic so concentration of solution will be based on acidic solution so concentration of HCl will be written as the 5.6 how it will, how we got that is the 8 minus 2.4 and this is total volume of solution so divided 5.6 by 100 ml so on dividing this is millimoles on dividing you will get here 0 0.056 molar so this is decreased initially mole was this much this molarity was uh, some 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 after mixing so it has become 0 0.06 molarity of hcl so this is the molarity of hcl so this is decreased down so now after this because we have need to learn some important terms while solving the numericals because you will face all these problems uh, all these type of terms while uh, solving the numericals what are the uh, terms terms is actually sometimes they ask stock solution what is stock solution stock solution is actually concentrated solutions so they will give you that you have to take for the reaction now in the second they will ask a standard solution so a standard solution means uh, you know the molarity normality so this is called a standard solution suppose 0.2 molarity of hcl is uh, present in the laboratory so that is a standard solution we know that and then we are reacting with some other x molarity of solution so we know uh, these solutions and uh, uh, while reaction with the unknown reactant we use this standard solution for the reaction this will study more in during the redox titrations okay now molarity is dependent on volume so here molarity depends on volume or it depends on temperature because volume depends on temperature so while solving the problem so here uh, when volume changes so molarity will definitely changes uh, we can express uh, molarity in different different ways so when it is written one molarity it is called as molar solution when it is uh, 0.5 molarity means m by 2 or semi molar 0.1 molarity is or uh, m by 10 decimolar 0 0.01 molarity or m by 100 centimolar or 0 0.001 molarity or m by 1000 so in the question it may be given m by 2 m by 10 m by 100 m by 1000 it is semi molar decimolar centimolar or millimolar respectively so you have to uh, uh, learn these things by uh, similarly we can express the same uh, uh, concentration of solution after mixing in the case of normality of a solution also so in normality of solution n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 means equivalent before dilution is equal to equivalent after dilution for molarity we are using moles mainly there we are using moles here we are using equivalent so equivalent and molarity both are both are same in either cases Second, if the two solutions mixed without reaction, so without reaction means again we can use the same formula N1 V1 uh, plus M2 V2 will be given N3 uh, into V1 plus V2. So, V is the total volume of the solution and in, in the similar pattern of molarity, we will get the same result.
Now, if two solution react with each other, then concentration of excess reactant will be how much? So, ex concentration of excess, uh, excess reactant will be again N1, B1. So, this is the sign of approximation. So, which, whichever may be greater, this may be greater or this may be greater. So, we can use any one. N2, B2, depending on the type of the question. So, N3 is into V1 plus V2. So, N3 is equal to N1, V1. And this sign, similar sign. So, N2, V2. So, N can be greater divided by V1 plus V2. So, or uh, if they will ask you some different, different concept like uh, normality into equilibrium mass is known as weight of the solid by volume of the solutions or this can be expressed into strength of the solution. So again it can be asked what is the strength of the solution also after the reaction. So you have to uh, so do this thing multiply normality into equilibrium mass and again after getting you will get your strength of the solution that is nothing but the gram per liter. Solutions are expressed similar like molarity just explain uh, we have explained just now. So one normal, two normal is okay, but when they have written n by two, this means it is called as semi-normal. When you write n by ten, so it becomes deci-normal. So when you write n upon hundred, it is centi-normal, or n by thousand is milli-normal. So these are the different terms. So you should not confuse while solving the numericals. So we, uh, you try to solve all these numericals which I have given in the problem sections uh, with solutions. So first go through all these. Uh, problems uh, while seeing this how solutions has been made and uh, then we can give some more uh, problems for practice these type of questions.